I think for all schools, following um, a return to full opening after the lockdowns, um, we've got to prioritise children's mental health and well-being. Um, you know, children have been through an awful lot and part of the catch-up process needs to be making sure that pupils feel confident and secure in school. We have used the National Tutoring Programme to fund our two academic mentors. We were fortunate enough to be able to use people that we knew in order to support our own circumstances. So, for example, our English academic mentor is a fully qualified EAL teacher, which is useful in our school setting because we have 39 different languages spoken. Across the school, um, from year 7 to 11, we're providing support with academic mentoring. Approximately 185 students have had um, some form of academic mentoring this year, be it in terms of one-to-one -one in class support or um, one-to-three or one-to-six groupings. I would encourage all schools to consider engaging with the NTP. We've found it really useful in supporting our pupils in addressing those gaps where a lesson might be going too quickly for a pupil who isn't as confident. The academic mentors are really well placed to ensure that that work can be consolidated, it can be fully understood before the pupil re-engages with that lesson. We've recently done pupil voice surveys with a cross-section of pupils involved with English and maths academic mentoring and 100% of those pupils reported that they are growing in confidence, they're building their resilience and they're really enjoying those sessions as they are able to see their own academic progress, but most importantly for us, it's improving their mental health and well-being.